Ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise, and welcome back, finally, to Subscriber Craft Review from the Depths Edition, which is currently the only edition. And you might be looking at what's on screen right now and thinking, hang on, that doesn't look like the thing that's next on the list. And that's because the next thing that was on the list was the Ursa 2 class battleship by Sunday Lao slash Coronal. And uh, we're not doing that today, and the reason for that is I was inspecting it, all ready for its review, and I found that it has spin-blocked shields on it, which I consider an exploit, and so I can't and won't review it as it is now. I have already notified Sunday Lao, slash Coronal of that, and if you're watching, like man, well, you know what to do. It's like, you actually don't need uh, the she those spin-blocked shields in there, your ship's fine without them, you can work around them. So, till then, that doesn't get a review, and instead we get a nice easy review for me to do today, because this is, well, one I've been looking forward to for quite some time. This is the Equus Magnus Walking Rig by Archangelisk. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And this is super easy to review because uh, this is an aesthetic build, a pure aesthetic build, and as such, I don't need to worry about how well it's designed for combat, and so my crib notes in their entirety is, in big letters, super pretty, and in small letters, gears. And that is it. So, the rest of this video is pretty much just going to be me giving you a tour of this thing, because quite frankly, it is gorgeous, and I love it. And you might be thinking, like, hang on, there's it's got guns on it, right? Shouldn't the guns be doing something? Well, no, they, they're they not loaded with anything, and there are no ammo controllers, so... This thing ha does exactly one thing, and one thing only, and that is... Look cool, and frankly, it does a very, very good job of that. If you're not aware of it already, Archangelisk is kind of... The, uh, from, the, from the Depths steampunk guru. He does very, very cool-looking steampunk and clockwork stuff, so... Yeah, definitely an aesthetic builder. And, uh, it probably wouldn't be too difficult to, like, make all the guns on this functional. You could just make them all direct input feeders. In fact, they already have inputs on them a little bit. You just have to... what's this? Let's see here. Are you on a turret? Uh, no, you're on a spin block somewhere. Where are you? There it is. That is... no. What is that? What is you? What is you? That is an elevation-only turret, so you'd have to tweak some things here and there, but I think you could make this thing dangerous. Hello? This does... She is a big, complicated girl, though. Like, three of her legs haven't... Ah, there we go. Three of her legs took a while to spawn in there. And, excuse me? Thank you. So let's look at it from head to tail. So, we've got a little gun in here. 400 millimeters. Hang on. Oh, this one is loaded. That's the only one that's loaded. Oh well. Ah, still doesn't count. Aesthetic build only, because let's see. Yeah, he didn't even bother change the accuracy on that, and I believe that there are no detection systems on this thing. Nope, uh, no detection systems at all. Not intended for a fight. That's fine. So, again, let's look at this. The gears are gorgeous. I love that. And what's this? That is a shaft wheel, presumably for... yeah, this is... You can actually use steam engines in a number of cunning aesthetic ways. In this combination of metal slopes and... <sighs> Excuse me! <laughs> oh my god. Hang on. Yeah, okay, I'm good. Uh, I'm just... I'm allergic to how pretty this thing is. God. So yeah. Lots of steampunk, steam-derived things here. Lots of rotating, spinny things. And uh, let's see, there would be... Where would you be, sir? Where would you be? Under the sea. In an octopus's garden. In the shade. Okay, let's try and find the ACBs, because they're around here somewhere. And probably they're doing quite cunning things all over the place, because I'm guessing that a lot of these spin blocks are all doing pretty much the same speed. Which means, aha, I think I found you. 
Slave action ACV. What does this do? No, no, no. Oh, okay. Her. Yeah, like, uh, this is the pre-update version, I should mention. So, I don't know what's, uh, going on here. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 we're good. So, set rotation speed to four. Ah, okay, so this is the one that, uh, gets all the spin blocks moving. And presumably, there are other ones. I see you. There we go. Object within there. Oh my god. I know what this is. I've seen it before in Sabertooth Proton's thing. There's a spinner somewhere in here. Oh my god, that's clever. Oh my god, I love it. I love it. So yeah, if you, uh, I believe, I, I can't remember if this thing is on the workshop or not. It should be. I believe Archangelus Keza collection or two on the workshop. I don't know, I have to double check. If I find it, I will put it on there. So yeah, lots of cunning ACB tricks. And like, oh my god. These things aren't actually merging and like locking with each other, but they might as well be. And you can tell that's the idea. It's got little legs. Let's see, let's see these legs. What's in these legs? Are these hollow legs or not so hollow legs? Hello? P? 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 Okay, I think I found a bug. Okay. Never mind. Solid. No, not solid metal. Hollow legs. It's a bird. Hollow boned legs. Big thing right there. Does nothing but look awesome. Lots of little cranes here. Let's, let's look at these little cranes. Let's see how they do. Okay, so we've got a missile winches right there to look like crane stuff. We've got another thing here. What's the shaft wheel, steam engine, more missile winches, lots of alternating slopes to make diagonal thing. I love doing that, by the way. Terrible at it, but I love doing it. More winches, lots of winches, and another winch, and a shaft, and a failsafe, which makes a pretty good hook. Yeah. People, uh, I've seen people tend to use, uh, fail-safes quite well for aesthetic reasons. I think fail-safe, what's, there's another hooky thing that people do. You can make a hook just kind of using one meter slopes. Let's see if I can do that. Watch me embarrass myself. Uh, no, let's try this. You can do it like so, I believe. That's a hook of sorts. It's a terrible looking hook. Please forget I ever did that. But yeah, so. It's got cranes, it's got legs, it's got little things right here. Steam piping around the guns. It's very World War One kind of feel. Not World War One. Steampunk. There's a difference. And you'll notice there are ladders to nowhere, just made out of missile gantries, in fact. Uh, the one complaint I have aesthetically about this thing is that the insides are a little bit bare. And it's not a huge issue. This thing is meant, is clearly bloody meant to be looked at from outside and admired. But uh, yeah, interior is a little bare. There's a huge cogwheel right here. Bit of a safety hazard. Could You could do something like this, actually. And dun, 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 dun. Where's the stairs? Stairs, 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 stairs. New. Guessing Arch Archangelus might have thought to do this before. You still want to see the thing? There we go. And decorations. Stairs. Look at that. Corridor's got a bit of life. You can look down. You can see the thing. Wait a minute. Aha! Let's try doing... What's this? Let's paint the glass 
transparent. And that way... Ah, there we go. There we go. Look at that. See? I'm learning things. This thing might be useless in a fight, but... Uh, oh, hello. We might bang our head on the ACB. That's okay. I'd rather hit my head on a control block than get caught in that cogwheel. I actually like what I've done here. Uh, sorry, Archangelisk. I'm messing with your design already. So, through here... And you got this big corridor right here. Possibly could stick some posters in there. There's an ACB too high up to hit our head on. And here we go. And there is a ladder to nowhere. So what you could do is something like this. And because... Ah, that's possibly one of the reasons that this whole thing lags so much. Is that it's there's got a lot of single blocks in it. Which possibly makes it easier to build, but yeah. Ah, crud. They need to put functional ladders in this game. So, because Rambot's too fat, we'll do this. Ah! Crud. Hey, I'm... Hey, I'm up. Cool. Now we're up here. And here it looks really cool. There's portholes, which are... Actually a muzzle brake out of a gun. What's in here? Ah, oh, hello! We have a steam engine. We have more exposed cogwheels. Should have a warning sign right there. Paint it red. Lovely stairs. I... Love how stairs look now, by the way. There's a bit of shine on it. A bit of shine. Nice little ramp in between them. Double doors. And we're up on the main decks. Main guns. This lo lo this feels really... Like, the whole point of this thing is to be steampunk. But really, it feels really awesomely steampunk. I mean, look at that. The guns are even mounted on cogwheels. This is fantastic. We're here, and it sounds steampunk because it literally has steam. We'll go down here, and here's a crane to do crane things with. I can't fit through here, Rambot's too fat. We'll go over here, and we'll... Needs a bridge of something over here. Not compulsory, but it'll be nice. Okay, and up. And onto the different bit. Here's another ACB. Doing stuff. Over here, let's have a look around. I should do walk-arounds on more craft. Like... Especially the craft on the list that are quite, I don't know, that are, have leaned towards aesthetics. I really should just, I really should just walk around on them. Because then you get a kind of sense of how big they are. And that's really, that's a really good thing, I feel. Because, I mean, look at the size of this thing. It's not even that big compared to a lot of things that are on the depths. But it just feels huge. It feels big. Look, it even has, like... Resource containers on the sides, just for, like, extra blocks to look cool. Steam piping. Oh, that stuff. Yeah. That's real cool. And, uh... It's got light fittings, by the looks of it, mounted... Nah, they're not on-spin blocks, but they've got... Particle cannon, uh, pieces. Just to... I don't know. It looks a little bit like eyes. It looks a little bit like lights, because there's a natural glow off them. Yeah, but if I say this is this is the bridge, no, what the? Oh, freaking clown door! That sucks. Clearly, I need to. Hmm. Well, at the very least, I would like a sign that says "Psych" in there. And here's another ladder, which uh, is not a ladder. Whoa, Rambot! Jeez, jeez, bruh. What are you doing? And we land on this gun. Not loaded. Let's go have a look up here. What's this? It's a chimney. What's this chimney full of? Ah, there's the pressure release valve of the steam. And that other chimney over here has got lots of fire. So let's go. I love how these two are spinning in the opposite directions. That's probably the only way you can do it. Hope no one's feeling sick. And it's got rubber on the end of it, just for that bit of texture. Oh, I love it. Oh, it looks so cool. Here's more steam pressure valves. Mostly for the steam venting off than anything else. Rambot. Easy boy. Let's see if we... Uh, no, we can't get up there. Well. Yeah, that looks so cool. So this is generating flame, but... Yeah, let's do smoke. Does that look any better? Nah, fire is better. 
Fire's better, what am I thinking? What am I- Oi! Stay still! There we go. That's a beautiful steampunk thing. And, uh... Well, that's basically all you can really say about it, is that it looks awesome. Like, I do recommend, like, I am the last person in the world who should give hints on aesthetics to anybody, but I recommend something like this. Just a little bit of, uh, internal work to spice it up, and like, this isn't just a, I don't know, a land ship, a walking land ship that looks awesome on the outside, there's, you can make it look awesome on the inside as well. And I would recommend, uh, perhaps uh, laying off the, uh, single blocks, because that is making my machine lag right now. This thing is, uh, 19,000 blocks when it's only about 78 meters long. So, perhaps, uh, maybe not for this one, but for the next aesthetic build, that might be great. Just so uh, people with uh, potato computers can enjoy this kind of thing as well. So, yeah. So, but uh, since uh, uh, there have been no explosions around here, so I'm just going to throw in uh, some of my crappy tanks. And we'll just uh, see how things go. Well, it'll go very badly for the Equus, because let's fr let's face it, it can't aim at things, even though it has a few functional guns. Uh, what do we want to do here? My tanks are crap, by the way, so I'm just going to do this. There one. Two. A three. And... Uh-oh. Abandoned ship. Abandoned land ship. Wow. Look, I know the, the Equus is not going to win this, but it looks really cool. Its head is even turning. My garbage tanks are probably going to take a hundred years to kill it. God damn, the thing even looks pretty when it's being blown up. Also, considering this whole thing's made out of metal, it probably is quite tough. This looks so cool. It just looks... You know what? This is why From the Depths is a, such an awesome game. It just... You can have stuff like this happen. And watch my tanks run into each other right now. No. Wow. That was impressive. They dodged each other by inches. So yeah, that's basically it for this review of the Equus Magnus walking rig. Thank you, Archangelisk, for making this thing and submitting it to me. It's a refreshing change of pace, because most of the things on the list are ships, and like made for combat effectiveness. And just a pure aesthetic build is a nice change. Like, nice to mix it up every now and again. Although, if it is going to step on that tank, that would be really dope. Okay, I'm gonna watch till the end of it, but uh, I guess I should sign off here. So thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, and I will see you next time. Oh my god. Aha, you muggins! See you next time in From the Depths. Farewell!